Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to import your timesheets to Clockify. Any data that you have stored in Excel can be imported into Clockify so that your reports can include all past and future data. During import, Clockify will create all the missing tasks and projects. All you need to do is provide a file in the correct format. Before importing, your file should look something like this. Although you might have an end date and end time in your sheet, they are not necessary as they will automatically be calculated based on the duration of an entry like this. Make sure to check all of the required fields that are needed for importing. Those are email, start date, start time, and duration. Your required fields will also depend on the required fields that you have set up in your workspace settings. It's important to note that if you do not enter all the required information in all of the slots correctly that match with your workspace settings in Clockify, the import will not import that specific entry. If the format duration in your Excel file is, for example, compact hours and minutes, and your Clockify workspace settings is set to full hours, minutes and seconds, it will not import. They must match in order for the import to be successful. If they happen to not be a match, like in this example, instead of changing the duration format on each entry on the Excel sheet, which could be time consuming, simply check the time duration format in your Excel file right here and adjust your Clockify workspace settings duration accordingly like this. You can always switch back to the duration format you prefer working with in Clockify after the import. It will not affect the import once you've finished importing it. You can import time only for users on your workspace, active, inactive or invited. Users' email in Clockify and their email in the CSV file have to match like this. Users do not need to have accepted the invitation, but they must at least be invited. If they have not been invited previously, the entry will not be imported as it will not have a user to be able to attach to. And if you don't group projects by client, you need to rename the client column in the CSV file like this. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos as well as like, share and subscribe.